Hello friends, this is a video I'm making because I'm really bored and I have nothing to do, and because I'm a huge PSA Pokemon card collector, I figured I'd show off what I have. Now y'all have probably seen my submission returns, and a lot of the cards seen in those returns will no longer be here because I have sold them, or traded them. So, let's start off with the very beginning of my PSA collection. The Mint 9 Giratina EX from Ancient Origins. Purchased this from Darium CCGs back when they had their physical shop. And, uh, it's been one of my prized possessions ever since. So, let's not keep on that too long, as much as I love that card. And move on to the PSA 10 Forbidden Light Yveltal. If y'all remember my other PSA graded video... Y'all remember that mine that I submitted, my personal one, came back in 8. So I, so I just sold the 8 and bought the 10. Next up, the Gemmin 10, Hyper Rare, Espeon, and Deoxys from Tag All Star. Then we have the Rowlet and Alolan Executor Gemmin 10. Not going to cover up the Giratina, unless it's with another Giratina. Next couple of cards, we have Gem Mint 10 Premium Champion Pack Mewtwo, the Photon Wave version. And here's one that I did not personally submit, another one, like the um, Giratina EX I got from Bariums. I got this one off of eBay way back in the day. It's a Gem Mint 10 Triumphant Daltaria. Foil Rare. Let's pull out a nice big stack. you're hearing any noise in the background, that's just my mom playing her game. I don't have a very good recording studio, so I'm forced to use what use my resources. Next up is the Gem Mint 10 uh, Y Collection Yveltal EX Super Rare. Then we have one I opened myself, being the First edition Shaman EX from Psycho Drive that came out of one of those Japanese packs that I opened up that when I went into the boxes they were already opened and that kind of disappointed me, but at least I got EX Pokemon out of them, Pokemon EX. This came from my first submission. This was my normal art, Giratina EX from Ancient Origins, came back the 10, the Gem Mint. Next up is another one I bought. It is a nice Yveltal Break. I believe I got this from TCA's Charizard Authority's uh, eBay. Wasn't too expensive, and it's my second favorite Pokemon, so... Figured, why not? And to which y'all might say, Wobbuffet. Here's the Premium Championship Pack version of that Giratina EX. From the same set as the Mewtwo. I have the Mega Mewtwo Y from Premium Championship Pack, but it's got a massive crease going through. It'd probably only get a 3 or 4, so I'm not going to submit that one. If I can find a mint copy, then I'll submit that one. Here is This was a gift to me by one of my best friends, Nick Paul, guy that runs Paul's Gamer Zone. I have um, talked about him in one of my returns videos because I sent off his Charizard. He gave me that. Mint 9, Shining Light of Mewtwo GX, as my 18th birthday gift from him. Really nice, really sweet, I love it, thank you Nick. Next up is a real beaut. I even remember exactly where I got this to from. Uh, this is a Mint 9 Miscut, Full Art Lunala GX from Base Set Sun and Moon. This card is... So cool. I love it. And the cool thing about it is you can see the texture looks really weird, and that's because the texture is in its correct spot, but the printing on the front is in its correct spot, but the print in, or the printing on the back is in the 
correct spot, but the actual artwork is not. Really interesting card. I got that at the Burning Shadows pre-release I went to. My dad took me in Texas. May Arceus rest his soul. But, um, let's not talk about sad stuff. Next up, Gem Mint 10 on the Espeon and Deoxys Special Full Art. That came from my one of my really big submissions from one of their monthly specials. I had ordered that from a little shop in Japan off of uh, eBay. Speaking of cards I got off of eBay, a Gem Mint 10 Holon Research Tower Espeon. The Delta Species card. Really beautiful card. Well, I mean, I didn't buy it. It was a buddy of mine who gave me the money to buy it, but I got it on my account. Thank you again for that, Steven. This came out of my original Dragonstorm box. I don't know if I ever uploaded a video on that box. I'm pretty sure I did, but, um, yes. I also had the Ultra Shiny version of this card, and that, a little spoiler warning, the version of this card, the it's this card... The Foil Rare from uh, Ultra Shiny GX. But, um... It's, uh... The only thing different about it is the set number. And it got a 10, too. So just a little... Taste of what's to come. Next up is one of my favorite cards from Cosmic Eclipse. And probably my favorite card from Dream League. The Solgaleo and Lunala GX Gem Mint 10. From... Dream League. And it's got Lily on it. Lily is my favorite non-Pokemon character. And, um, yeah, when I saw that card revealed, I was like, I need it. I need it in my life. I need to grade it. Next stack of cards. If y'all have been keeping up with my channel for a long time, y'all probably recognize this. French Dragonite EX, not EX, GX, Hyper Rare Promo. Sun and Moon 156, because I opened it out of that um, box that my mother brought me back from France. Thank you, Mom. Um, beautiful card. I love it. And there was some a little bit of edge wear, so the fact that it even came back a 9 um, just makes me really happy. Here's a cute one. Pokecune... Flareon EX Full Art Gem Mint 10. Absolutely beautiful and adorable card. I love this card more than I like the English release because the English bleh, the English release doesn't have that star holofoil pattern on the card. Next up is the only of the Ultra Shiny cards that I actually have left, the Ultra Shiny GX cards. The Decidueye, because I ended up having to sell Mewtwo, Espeon, and uh, Altaria. But, um, I will, I will have replacements on the way at some point in time. Now, if you remember when I opened my box of Sky Legend and GG End with Steven, I opened the Lily Character Rare. Not Character Rare, Trainer Rare. Character Rares are Pokemon. Trainer Rares are Trainers. Um, but yes, absolutely beautiful card. I love the art. I need to get the um, promo from Dream League that has Lily and Clefairy on it. It's, it's like the only character rare that has not been released in English. Next up. Also from my Sky Legend box, just like that Lily and the Rowlet and Executor, the ultra rare Viridian Forest. I'm surprised this got a 10, because it's visibly off-center. I was thinking maybe a 9 OC, but it got the 10. I guess it, the off-center wasn't enough to push it down to a 9 OC, but I'm fine with either, to be honest. I collect qualifiers and 10's a 10, so... Aw. Uh, I'm going to play a little clip, a censored little clip, of when I opened this card from my power, Premium Powers Collection my French Premium Powers collection. Water Energy, Milotic, we have Zinnia, we have Salazzle, Victini, Prism Star, and... Ah! Ho! 
Holy f Alternate Cruise Map! Yeah. I was ecstatic when I opened this card. And I opened a Victini Prism Star from that same pack. So I will be submitting that Victini Prism Star as soon as I can. Next up is the Yveltal Hyper Rare I got from the Japanese Forbidden Light set. This, um, I actually bought and it arrived before the Forbidden Light pre-releases happened. So, I was pretty stoked about that, and it got the 10. But the full art I ordered got the 8, so that was a little disappointing. But, they must have seen something that I missed. Next up is another one that I bought. A 9 OC Dawn Wings Necrozma GX Hyper Rare. Rainbow Rare. Ultra Rare. Secret Rare. Well, Ultra Rares would be the gold cards, but... Um, it's a beautiful card. I like Necrozma. I have the Ultra Necrozma gold card right there. I guess this just kind of goes with it, but this is English. This is an English card. But it, I collect the qualifiers, and Lunala was in my top 10 at one point, so... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep y'all here for too long with the graded cards themselves because um I got a good ten more maybe a little more because I have this gem mint Solgaleo and Lunala hyper rare. I prefer hyper rare. I just think it sounds cooler. I will continue to call them hyper rares throughout the entirety of this video. I just think rainbow rare sounds kinda underwhelming if you get my drift. But yeah, it's got Lily on it, and um, excuse me for saying this, but it's just kind of funny. I will censor it. Uh, my buddy likes to call these hyper rare cards Rainbow Gradient Bullet, so I think that's hilarious. And I, I'm gonna give him a, sh I'm giving him a shout out. My buddy Nightmare Snake, he's a really cool dude. Just don't watch his videos if you're under like 16. Do me that favor. Next up, Near Mint Mint 8 on the French Hyper Roy uh, Kingdra GX Hyper Rare. I believe this is my last Hyper Rare, which is the PSA 8 circuitry that Nightmare Snake bought for me from GX Battle Boost. Because Nick Paul had a bunch of graded cards in that he was selling. And, um... I figured I'd trade him some stuff. I traded him a Lele, which was very expensive at the time, and uh, a couple of other cards that he liked, like a Full Art Skyla from Breakpoint, and a Electro GX Full Art. And uh, he gave me that. So I'm very happy with that. Thank you, Scott. And here's a Giratina Gem Mint 10. Reverse Foil from Unified Minds. Didn't think it'd get the 10, honestly. A little nick up there, right there. Probably can't see it, but I will put it in the Giratina stack. Next up's an interesting story. Saw this little gem on eBay. It's a joke because it's a gem at 10. Okay. Um, I saw this little gem on eBay. It says, hey, is a Team Up Zoroark PSA 10. I look at the label and the listing, and it says X and Y Breakthrough Zoroark Hollow Rare. And I'm like, that's a PSA error. I'm buying that. I only got it for like 10 bucks. Sniped it at the very last second. And that was absolutely wondrous. I was so happy when I got that. Next up is a couple of things from my second submission that actually came back very late. I don't know why, but I don't blame PSA for that. There's been a lot going on. Uh, here is the first edition Y Collection Yveltal EX. I also have the full art, which you've seen previously. And then, if that wasn't enough, I have the premium championship pack version. Which I believe someone at the Paul's League, at the old location, traded to me. It traded me a bunch of um, premium championship pack EX and uh, Megas and even the uh, Chestnut Break, which was pretty cool. Next up is another card I ordered, but this was a while ago. 
The reason you didn't, you probably recognize this from my re-encapsulation video because the case had cracked on this, and uh, it is no longer cracked. Thank you, PSA. Put it in the little Giratina stack there that is now going to grow again because I have a gem mint Garchomp and Giratina GX. This is my favorite tag team for obvious reasons, but I got this out of my GGN box. My full art out of that box was uh, Raichu and Alolan Raichu. Not even the special one, but still a good card. It's at PSA right now. But I expected to get like a 9 or 9 OC. Maybe an 8 if I'm just unlucky. But it's whatever. Next up is another French card. Uh, my Altaria that I opened out of the same box I got the Necrozma from. Q clip. Talon. Ooh, Altaria GX. First hit. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful card. I love Altaria. That's my sixth favorite Pokemon. Mewtwo kind of got downgraded a bit since I've last looked at my list. Being replaced by Eternatus from Sword and Shield. Because I just, I love Eternatus. When World Down comes out, I'm going to buy a bunch of those cards and get them graded. But, um, here is another qualifier. Uh, 9 OC. Altaria EX from Japanese Dragon Frontiers. The Delta Species Water Type. You can see why I got the OC grade, because on the top compared to the bottom, still absolutely beautiful. Second to last card we have is the Munch the Scream Rowlet. I bought this a while ago with, along with a bunch of Ultra Shiny cards, and uh, I got the 10. I think the only card out of those cards I ordered that didn't get the 10 was the Gold Tapu Finny, and I sold that almost immediately because I really wanted a 10 on that Tapu Finny, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, there, I think it was off-center. That's why I didn't get the 10. Last card I have is another one that I bought. And that being the Movie Commemoration Giratina. I love this card. Giratina is... I don't even need to say it at this point. It's my favorite Pokemon of all time. Has been for years. And now we have a nice little background for my next submission. Here is the French Victini Prism Star. Let me focus on that a little bit better. Came from that exact, this is the one that came out of the same pack as the Ultra Necrozma Gold card, the Blastoise EX. I opened two out of two of these out of one box. I got a Molga EX from Y Collection. From Rising Fist, I have a Dragonite EX that was opened on my live stream. I have a couple, oh, oh. I guess the Gardevoir is not in here, but I had a Gardevoir EX as, as well as this camera from Best of XY. So, and then from Korean Plasma Gale, I have Victini EX, Lugia GX from Lost Thunder, Ultra Necrozma GX from Tag All Stars. From Ultra Sun, I have Dialga GX. Raichu GX from the Tins, Naganadel from Sky Legend, Naganadel from Ultra Shiny, Kingdra from Dragonstorm, Reshiram GX not only from Ultra Shiny, but from Dragonstorm as well. Mawile from GG End, a really miscut Lycanroc, which I'm hoping for at least an 8 or 9 MC on that. I have a Dawnwings Necrozma from Ultra Shiny. Mewtwo from Hidden Fates, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar from Unified Minds, Raichu and Alolan Raichu from GG End, Uno Dos Tres from... Eh! Uno Dos Tres from Hidden Fates, Sogaleo and Lunala from Cosmic Eclipse. This is the Cramorant that my good buddy Mikey, y'all probably know him, Prof Mikey, gave me at the pre-release. He handed me this, so I wanted. I figured I'd get it graded because it's special. 
as well as two of the Japanese versions of Kramer Ant V. Victini V from Sword and Shield Base. Lapras V from Sword and Shield Base. Meowth V from... Ugh. Uh, got a Froakie in my throat. Meowth V from the VMAX box. Aerodactyl GX from... Eh, Unified Minds. Unbroken Bonds, Lucario and Melmetal. Nick Anadel and Guzzlord from Alter Genesis. Shaman from the Mythical Box. Stoutland from Cosmic Eclipse. Wishy Washy from Cosmic Eclipse. Weavile from Cosmic Eclipse. Shiny Noibat, technically from Burning Shadows, from the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. Kartana from the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. Speaking of Froakie, there's a Froakie from the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. Uh, Sviper from the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. Guzzlord from the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. Drampa from Ultra Shiny. This was uh, something my buddy Steven brought me back from Indiana. Really happy he did that for me. I really appreciate it. This is one of Nick Paul's cards. This is a Metagross from the Ultra Ball box. This is Rayquaza GX. Shiny from the Ultra Premium Collection. Hyper Rare Birds. That's, I think, a Stevens. I opened that out of my booster box that I have yet to upload. Ah! Another one of Nick's cards. Professor's Research. Hyper Rare. Ultra Rare Rainbow Energy from Celestial Storm. Ultra Rare Lily's Polka Doll from Cosmic Eclipse. Two Gold Soul Galeos from the Ultra Premium Collection. Two Gold Lunalas from the Ultra Premium Collection. I'm finally submitting my Gold Lunala from Ultra Prism, as well as a Breaksard Special Art. So thank you all for watching. Look forward to future submissions. Look forward to a submission that I have coming in a few days. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.